Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Kavanaugh Fieldhouse at Lynn English High School for Lynn English versus Lynn Classical Girls Basketball. Starting lineups for the Lynn Classical Rams. Number three, Jaylee Medrano. Junior, number four, Jasmine Massey. Number 15, Irianis Delgado. Number 32, Paris Wilkie. And number 35, Tiara Horton. The head coach of the Rams is Tom Sawyer. And now the starting lineups for the Lady Bulldogs. At center, number 44, Stacey Abreu. Number five, Juliana Perry. Forward, number 11, Raven Rapley. Number 32, senior guard, Tommy Hill. And senior captain, number three, Ellie Giddy. And the head coach is Mackenzie Charles, as it's the Crosstown rivalry this evening. The hometown, the home <laughs> court, Lynn English Bulldogs hosting the Lynn Classical Rams here as both coaches, a couple of last second pieces of advice for their teams, and we're almost ready to play here. Um, the Rams come in with a record of 16-1, and one, only one loss on the season. They qualified for the state tournament almost a month ago with their 10th win. For the Lady Bulldogs, it's another story. They come in with a record of 5-13, and 13, and they've struggled this season. Um, over the last month, uh, Coach Charles has been working some of the younger players in their Kimani Dor freshman Kimani Dorsey, who is not in right now, has gotten a lot of playing time, as has Malin Echevarri, a sophomore. So we're underway here as Classical controls the tap, and here we go. English playing zone, and first shot is missed, and Giddy on the run. This is Perry, drives baseline. Shot punched out of bounds by Wilkie. So just underway here. No score. As Giddy inbounds. This is Abreu back out to Hill. Perry in the corner. Giddy for three. No, just two. I guess she had her foot on the line, but English on the board. They lead two nothing. English playing that 2-3 zone with Perry and Giddy up top. Abreu in the middle. Shot misses. And Hill and Rapley on the wings. Abreu with the rebound. And here comes Giddy bringing it up. Shot misses badly. But put back in by Rapley. Excuse me, by Abreu. This is Classical with the rebound. And that number four, four Classical, that is Irianis Delgado, I believe. No. Jalen Massey. A long three, too long for Hill. And here comes Classical. From the corner, that's Wilkie. Misses everything, but rebound goes. Count that for Delgado, and she's fouled on the play. As Wilkie missed everything, but Delgado was under there for the rebound, and we're all even now at four. And this is Delgado on the line. Oh, free throw rims out. That foul was on Giddy. Her first first team foul. 
Bicycle also in the 2 3 zone. Long cross court pass that Giddy knocks down and keeps control of. So far, all the play on the perimeter. Hill for three. Nope. Hits, hits the side of the backboard. She's got a nice looking stroke. She can be streaky. When she's hot, ooh, almost travels there. In the corner, Wilkie turns down that one, drives to the basket, and flips it in. Paris Wilkie, their 1,000-point scorer for Classical. And the trap, and quickly, just as she was getting trapped, McKenzie, Coach Charles, McKenzie Charles calls timeout. Good defense by Classical, and we're... With a little break in the action here, it's classical six and English four. Um, English actually playing better as of late. They last last week they crushed Salem on the, here. I believe that was last Friday or last Tuesday. Um, I think it was 46 to 17. They they really played their best game of the season and then traveled to Everett and got beat. Before that, they played uh, Danvers tough, and Danvers came in here at that time with, a, I believe, a record. I think they were 10-2 and two at the time. They also qualified for the States. English played them tough. So you don't necessarily see it. It's not reflected in their record with only five wins on the season, but they're putting, putting forth a good effort, and as I mentioned, some of the younger players are getting more action here. As the players come back out on the court, it'll be English at half court. This is Juliana Perry. Perry only a sophomore. Rapley also a sophomore. Along with two seniors. That's Giddy and Hill. Nice save by Hill. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Hill, they better launch it. I don't know if they see it, and Perry throws it up. So, actually, three sophomores here, Abreu, Rapley, and Perry, along with the two seniors, Hill and Giddy, for English. Skip pass, get nicely in inside. Shot won't go. Nice pass inside that time to, um, that was Tiara Horton, couldn't convert. Perry chases the ball down, flips it to Giddy, turns down the pass. A hook shot, a little while, won't go. Perry steals it, back to Giddy. And we got a double dribble here as Giddy almost picked up the dribble and then kept going. Kimani Dorsey just in. She replaces Giddy and Echevarria in there for Abreu. So English getting even younger here. Four sophomores and a freshman. Comes Dorsey. Perry. And so far, English has not been able to get the ball inside. This is Echevarria. A hard pass that Abreu can't handle. Echevarria in particular in that Salem game took the ball to the basket and she is strong and a pretty tall guard and Salem had no answer for her. So let's see if what she can do here. Nice bounce pass to a cutting Wilkie. Pretty play as Paris Wilkie on the wing. Echevarria has the ball stolen away. And quickly, Classicals run this lead up to six. We were at six apiece, and now it's or six four, now it's ten four. Almost stolen away Echevarria. Oh, tried to fire that and maybe a bounce pass would have worked, but not a baseball pass. That last bucket for Classical by Jaylee Medrano. English inbounding. Echevarria back up top to Dorsey. Stolen away by Wilkie. 
Bounce pass. Rapley, nice defense, but took a step or two. Good play by Rapley getting back. Four English, Massey in, and Madrano out. So three or four turnovers for English, and Classic has a six-point lead. Rebound here by... See who that is. That's Gupton with the rebound, and she gets fouled. That'll be on uh, Rapley, her first. Nice play by Perry. Two on one to Dorsey. Pass a little hard, but Echevarria follows it up. Tried to go to the other side of the rim and couldn't flip it in. Nice pass inside. Back out to Wilkie for three. Oh. Too short, first three overshot at that time. She didn't reach the rim. Wilkie tries a little, and Wilkie on the foul. Looked like they would get her earlier, but they get Wilkie on the push. Her first. Echevari inbound, and Giddy in for Perry. 10 to 4 here. Giddy quickly over to Dorsey. Nope. Good defense there. And it's all they're all tied up. That was uh, Massey with this nice stop and tying the ball up. Possession arrow English. Abreu. Kind of a wild pass, but gets to Dorsey. Good hustle. Hustle play there by Madrano as she threw it off of Echevarria. Heads up play. Madrano just back in. So Classical with the last six points here. They've got a 10-4 lead. Wilkie, her pass goes off Classical. Pass was kind of low and it went off of uh, Gupton's Shin or sneaker. Two minutes to go and the clock has stopped for some reason. There it goes again. Let's see. It looked like the clock, maybe two, three seconds, the clock wasn't mo moving. Let's see if, okay, so they, I think the ref just noticed it and called time. Took another second off the clock, so we're at 156 now. I rectify that. And Dorsey will inbounds. Abreu out. Jessica Ruiz makes her first appearance. So under two minutes to go here. English inbounds at midcourt. Hill in for Rapley. Let's see if Ruiz can get some position inside. They haven't been able to work it inside at all. Long skip pass to Echevarria. Back out to Dorsey. As Classical just won't allow those. We got to travel. Classical not allowing any of the English players to set up for three. And they're running them off the line and not able to get a shot off. For Classical, they've been able to work it inside fairly easily. Wilkie setting up. Good defense, but nice pass across, and that fell as Wilkie passed it to the opposite side, to the weak side. Excuse me. And good pass by Paris Wilkie, and that'll be really Massey on the line shooting, too. That foul is on Dorsey, her first. Shots good by Massey. And classical up by seven. Second one too strong. Giddy all by herself. One on three. Ah, she had the shot. Dorsey misses everything from about 15 feet. Wilkie looking up. 
And good hands by Giddy knocks it out of bounds. As Paris Boogie comes up, head up, looking for something. English with 14 fouls, classical. I thought they had one on Wilkie earlier. Maybe they, maybe that was, I'm sure they called a foul on Wilkie. It doesn't look like it. They don't have it up on the board anyway. Wilkie all alone, can't convert. Tommy Hill with the rebound. Under a minute to go. English with a long scoring drought here. Giddy, nowhere to go. Perry retrieves it. Hill. Now, passes are a little off. This time Perry has some space, but shots way too long. Nice rebound by Ruiz. Can't convert. Ruiz with one of their first rebounds of the evening, but her little putback was offline. This is Medrano. Cross court. Nice passing. Good defense as Echevarri gets back quickly. Medrano offline. But, yeah, Ruiz, I didn't see her. I thought that was a classical player. Giddy quickly up court to Hill for three. Count it. Tommy Hill with a very nice-looking shot from three. Whoa, the long runner by Medrano from... Midway between midcourt and the top of the key, top of the foul line, just rattles out. And that'll do it. At the end of one here, it's classical 11 and English 7. So we're back uh, just about ready to get in play here. Second quarter. That first quarter dominated by classical. They only lead by four, but able to shoot from outside and work the ball inside nicely. English relying on the outside shot here. And looks like we English switching up the defense. Well, we got a 3-2 going now. Nice steal by Echevarria. Not, and punched out by Massey. As Echevarria, good hands, not as much speed as Glasgow, and they caught up to him, knocked the ball out of bounds. Giddy inbounding. Hill brings English back with a three from the corner. Here's Echevarria, baseline drive, much too strong. But Wilkie on the end line with the rebound, and that ball go back to English. For English, it's Ruiz, Echevarria, Hill, Perry, and Giddy. Out to Hill. Perry, nice drive by Perry. Won't go, though. And Classical is running. This is Massey. Pulls it back out. Wilkie, trapped in the corner, gets it back out to Medrano. And Wilkie all alone underneath as uh, Delgado missed everything, but Wilkie with the putback for two. Giddy Hill for three, way too strong. English with a 3-2. They've got Giddy, Perry, and Echevarri up top. Hill and uh, Ruiz back. Good drive by Wilkie, won't go. Nothing, nothing with Classical is back. So Perry wisely pulls it back out. Glasgow sticks with the 2-3 two two three defense. It's been pretty successful so far. Uh, that time they had Hill. Nice drive by Giddy, but shots just not falling. Classical running. Wilkie won't go. Echevarria and Wilkie down. Let's see. She gets up. Here comes Giddy. They're five on four. Echevarria. Ooh, no call. Thought she might have gotten hit. The ball off Ruiz's hand as Wilkie was down for a while. They had a one that man advantage there. Rapley on her way in for Hill. Abreu in for Ruiz. Delgado gets it inside. Nice interior passing, but good defense. And that'll be a backcourt foul. Back, to, back to, to English. Nice pass inside, but a good reaction. 
by Abreu underneath, and the pass back out sailed into the backcourt. 5.52 to go. This is Echevarri on the baseline. And Abreu looking to set up, but they don't see her. Giddy, nothing inside. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Giddy in the corner. Rapley. And they got a three seconds, three second violation on Abreu. Just not much movement inside for English. It's all perimeter passing. Classical on top 13 to 7. Baseline jumper by uh, Delgado. Nice passing, nice shot. Classical 15 7. Giddy to Rapley. Won't go. Here comes Classical. This time Perry's back. Believe they may have gotten Giddy on a reach in. Let's see. Yep. Giddy with her second. And Dorsey comes in to get her. Giddy with two. They don't want her picking up her third here. So she may be on the bench till the second half. Delgado for three. Too short. Dorsey. Pulls it back out to Perry. Echevarri in the corner. Abreu looking for position. Echevarri for three. Too strong. Classical dominating the boards. And here comes Wilk. No, this is uh, Medrano. Good move on the baseline. Won't go. Rebound Delgado. Delgado. That was uh, Massey. Missed the on the baseline, Delgado all alone, but couldn't convert. And back to English. Wilkie in, Massey out. Classical pressing for the first time here. Dorsey quickly to Perry, but two classical players back. And classical with the rebound. Ruiz quickly back. This is Medrano. Nice move. Nice looking move. A little pull up jumper by Jaylee Medrano. And Classical has a lot of players that can handle the ball. And Coach Charles with a timeout as Classical has extended their lead to 10. And with 4.04 to go in the second quarter, it's Classical 17, English 7. Well, 17 to 7 as we get ready to, uh, English gets ready to inbound the ball. They've been held scoreless for almost four minutes here. It was 11 to 7 at the end of one, and it's 17 to 7. So six unanswered points for Classical. And English inbounding at half court. They haven't figured out how to beat this defense. They've uh, been pretty much exclusively outside and... 1-3 by Tommy Hill, a bucket by Giddy, and a bucket by Abreu, and that's it. Yeah, that's the seven points. Classicals points distributed pretty evenly between Wilkie has six, Madrano has four, Delgado has four, and Classical switches to a man-to-man -man here. Good defense as Madrano. Madrano ties up Abreu, possession arrow English as Classical comes out of the, the timeout. Man to man. Confused English. This is Abreu in the corner, back out to Dorsey. Echevarria open, doesn't take the three. Ruiz looking for position. The Ruiz down low. They can't, in, they can't get the ball into her, though. They've got some... And that pass going over Dorsey. English with not height but size underneath with Ruiz and Abreu under there, but they haven't been able to get that ball into the post at all. 3.30 to go. Medrano running the show here. Back out. 
On the baseline, that's Delgado won't go. Rebound Abreu. Rue is quickly down, trying to set up. Echevarria just way off. English with a three quarters court press here. And now Echevarria comes up. Ooh. But Classical beats it easily, uh, but Delgado can't convert. Oh, no basket as they get Delgado on a travel as she missed the lay-in, and then her looping shot that came from under and around the rim went in, but she took a couple of steps before it, so no bucket. We're under three minutes now. English still looking for their first bucket of the quarter. And Echevarria tied up as she lost the ball, almost got called backcourt, and that ball go over to, stays with English, possession arrow English. It's, they just haven't, shots are off, and they just haven't been able to get their offense clicking at all. Looking for a bucket as Echevarria goes between the legs. Perry looking for a Braille, and Finally bounced that in there, and it was kicked. That's the first time they've, boun they've bounced that ball into the post that I've seen as Abreu working hard. Ruiz, too. Got to give the, bi those big, the big people the ball now and then, or they'll stop working. Abreu. Oh. Short on the baseline, 10-footer. This is Medrano, quickly in the corner. Wilkie for three, too strong, but how oh, classical all alone as they, that was uh, Gupton who got the rebound and English left her all alone. She just cruised in. That time we got Delgado, tried to steal, hit at Chavaria, but only three teams make that the fourth for classical. English had four. Coming into the quarter, I believe, and they've only picked up one, so they have avoided uh, going into the sending class going to the penalty so far. Nineteen to seven, classical up by twelve. Classical in ma playing man to man now, gives it to Giddy. Back out to Perry, drives the lane. Wild runner. And this is uh, Horton to Massey. Back to Wilkie. Nice drive by Wilkie. She gets fouled as she goes to the basket. If that's on Giddy, that'll be her third. Let's see. Yep, that's third on Giddy as uh, Mackenzie Charles taking a chance there, putting Giddy in, and it backfired there as Giddy picked up her third. First one good for Wilkie as Giddy spent the last three, three and a half minutes on the bench. Coach Charles finally felt like he needed some offense. They hadn't scored yet. Put her back in, and she picks up the, the foul on that reach in on, on Wilkie. Wilkie makes both. Oh, good hustle by Massey all alone. Wilkie, but can't convert. Wilkie dominating on the boards as Classical blowing it open here. It's 23 to 7. As English losing their composure as they try to drive through and another steal. Massey, Coach Charles with a timeout. And that was Massey. And it's been all Classical here. Came into the quarter, trailing by four, and they now trail by 18. English still has not scored in this quarter. And Classical, just in the last minute, has reeled off six straight points to open it up to an 18-point lead. And it's Lynn English in a tough spot here. They haven't been able to generate any offense at all. They did have seven points in the first quarter, but here they've been held scoreless. And 
just in the last minute, the classical pressure has started to get to English as uh, three successive steals, three layups, and they've opened up an 18-point lead as the Lady Rams come back, back on the court. Lady Bulldogs still gathered around Mackenzie Charles. One fifteen to go. As I mentioned earlier, classical with only one loss on the season, sixteen and one, looking to make it seventeen and one. English just trying to get better and playing a lot of young players, playing for next year, really. Let's see what they got there. That foul on Wilkie, her second. So one more on Wilkie, and that would be. And uh, just as I said, Coach Sawyer pulls her out and replaces her with number 12. That's her first appearance. That's uh, Cabrou. We got to travel on Abreu. One minute exactly to go. This is Medrano, the floor leader here. Try to get it in, but not able to. Medrano back out. Baseline, smooth move there by number 35. That's Tiara Horton with her first bucket. Stolen away by Massey. Massey. All class. I said pilot on 29 to 7. And finally get it over midcourt. Dorsey fumbles it, stolen away. And Medrano holds up for the last shot. 16 seconds to go. And Medrano. Nice pass along the baseline. Knocked out by a brave 7.4 to go. Looks like Classical is going to be held scoreless here in this second quarter as Classical with 7.4 seconds on the clock. Let's see what they do. Massey, and she's fouled. You could hear it from up here. So she'll be on the line shooting three. I believe that's on Echevarria. She was shooting a three and she got hit. So she'll be shooting three, three free throws. Gidi getting ready to check back in. First one by Massey, too strong. Massey with seven points. Giddy back in there probably thinking about maybe a last second three as Giddy will probably take it herself up the court and throw up a three. Second one by Massey is good. Giddy in for Echevarria. So a little offense, offensive switch here. Echevarria on the bench and Giddy in. Massey makes one of three, and they don't get it to Giddy though. Here's Perry, not in time, as her three from almost midcourt just rims out. But Classical shutting out the Lady Bulldogs in the second quarter and outscoring them 19 to nothing to blow this game open. And at the half, it's Lynn Classical 30, Lynn English 7. So we'll see what... Uh, Coach Mack had to say to uh, the Lady Bulldogs at halftime as that second quarter was a complete rout. Um, as Classical steps back out on the court with a 23-point uh, lead, 30-7, to seven, the Lady Rams, a senior-laden team, Paris Wilkie, Jaylee Madrano, Iriana Delgado, so you can see the senior veteran leadership for English. Giddy back in playing with three personal. She's the only senior out. No, no, and Hill, Tommy Hill out there too. But English is predominantly sophomores now. This Echevarria, Perry, Abreu, all sophomores. Dorsey, a freshman. Nice drive by Echevarria. Rebound. By Abreu, first points they've scored inside. Stacy Abreu breaks. 
the second quarter drought and quickly the other way that's Wilkie she gets fouled as that fell on Echevarria her first first team fell first one good for Wilkie coach Mac figuring what Nothing to lose here. He's going to he's gonna go with his best player. So he's got Giddy out there playing with those three personals. He can't afford to keep her on the bench. She fouls out, so be it. He probably said to her, no reach in fouls. And Giddy, speedy Giddy, right to the basket. She gets fouled. She'll be on the line shooting too. That'll be the second on Madrano. Both teams with one team foul. Oh, they don't, they don't give her the shot. I, I thought she was shooting two, too, but they said it was before the shot. As you can hear Coach Charles over here yelling. She, she was shooting. She was shooting. And the refs don't care for it, but now Coach Mack over there pleading his case, but nobody listening. And this is Giddy from the corner. Nope. Won't go. Looked like a shooting foul to me too, but they called it on the on the court. Nice play by Horton driving the lane. Won't go. Giddy can't get the rebound, but Hill pulls it away. Tommy Hill gives it up to Perry. Classical tough defensive team gets back. And Glasgow staying in that mandarin. They switched over to it with a few minutes left in the second quarter, and it worked for them, and they're sticking with it. Uh, this is Abreu looking for position. Couldn't get it. Giddy, Hill, all alone for three. Just beat the clock, but shot won't go. 6.29 to go in the third quarter. This is Wilkie. Hasn't hit from three, but... She's been valuable in other ways. Madrano. Good position by Wilkie, but Perry steals it away. One on two. She takes it to the basket, and she gets she gets elbowed by Madrano. That'll be her third. She's probably going to, Coach Sawyer, probably going to take her out. That should be her third. That third on Madrano, and she comes out. Horton in. Hill inbounding. Giddy. This is Perry for three. Oh, won't go. Giddy hustles for the rebound. Now Classical back in the back to their two three. Hill just can't. Can't hit that three. She's got the one three. There's only been one three tonight, and that's been hers in the first quarter. This is Wilkie at the foul line. Wild pass as Wilkie gets knocked over, but no call. Throws it wildly. Wilkie will come out. And Gupton in. Paris Wilkie leads away with 10 points. Followed by Massey with eight. Trapped in the corner by Madrano. No, nobody's coming to help. Excuse me, Delgado. Not Madrano. Madrano's on the bench. And nobody came over to help. And the ball was last touched by the Bulldogs as Perry got trapped in the corner and needed some help and didn't get it. Ball goes over to the Lady Rams. This is nice pass inside to Delgado, won't go. Delgado fighting for the rebound, back out to Massey. And this is Horton. Yep, Tyra Horton with a nice little jumper from about eight feet. Perry driving the lane. Shot off line. Ooh, Horton almost travels. Gives it up to Massey. In 
to Delgado, couldn't handle it, but got the shot up, but it wouldn't go. Here comes Gidi. One speed for Ellie Gidi. Oof. Tough pass to handle. But Echevarria, nice hands as Gidi dished it to her from about two feet, and she was able to catch it and put and score. Very nice play by Echevarria. Delgado with good position. As that's the third straight time Delgado's got position inside, that time she converted. 35 to 11 as English and Classical trading baskets now. This is Massey. Three on one. Bounce pass to Horton. Stolen away by Perry. English back. One on three. That's the difference. They got a, they got a foul that time on Horton. That's the third team foul. That time Horton probably helped out Perry as she was out of control. He probably could have went. She had already gone by the basket. But right there is the difference in this game as English goes. A classical goes three on one, can't convert. And then English comes back and it's one on three on classical. This is Echevarria, can't hit from three. As Delgado got hit in the glasses, but she's okay. Massey looking to set up. Dupton, and we got a, I believe they got a push in the back by Abreu. That'll be two team fouls for English, three for Classic with 3.30 to go. This is Horton misses. Delgado. And Dorsey, and now good good hustle by Abreu as she rips the ball away. Two on one. Gidi gets bumped. That time she should be on the line shooting two. Foul on Horton. At this time, Ellie Gidi shooting two. Too short. Gidi with one bucket. She scored that in the first quarter, in the first couple of minutes of the game. Looked like a three, but I guess her foot was on the line. That was a long time ago, and she's still looking for her next point. Delgado takes a seat on the bench. Short again. Good rebound by Echevarria. She's fouled. As Echevarria grabbed the rebound, and she'll be shooting. See, that's on. If that's on Wilkie, that's her third. Yep, third on Paris Wilkie. Not in any great danger here. They lead by 24 points, but I have a feeling Coach Sawyer is going to pull her. Echevarria, English just cold. Free throw line, cold from three, cold everywhere. As Wilkie comes out. Delgado in. Echevarria makes one of two. You can hear Coach Sawyer. I'm not sure who he who he's mad at. He goes, come on, guys. I'm guessing he didn't care for the refs. <laughs> Replaying that. This is Horton bringing the ball back up. Delgado, nice pass inside. And that was number 10. That is Creighton in, just in. And good interior pass. And Delgado to Creighton, she gets fouled. She'll be on the line shooting, too. First one good for Creighton. So, second shot for Creighton, too strong. And Abreu with good position. 
Kimani Dorsey in for Giddy. Coach's timeout. Excuse me, referee's timeout here. Let's see what the call is here. Is this another clock issue, I believe? Yep. As the clock didn't start, and it took a couple of seconds off of it. And we're back in. 2.57, clock running. Echevarria Dorsey all alone. Nope, too late. As Classical stays in that 2-3 zone, just can't get a shot off. This is Perry from the corner. Yes, as Juliana Perry finally hits from three. Her first bucket of the game. Classical. English man to man. This is Horton for three. Oh, misses. Dorsey. Goes one on three. Throws that up. Once again, they bail her out as she's going one on three. No chance for that bucket. And Classical bails her out as English just gets the rebound, puts the head down, and just takes it right to the basket. Uh, They've been getting fouled, luckily, here. Dorsey misses the first. Let's see who that foul is. They have the fourth foul of Madrano. I didn't see Madrano on the court there, but they may have just pulled her quickly. I didn't see it. So, anyway, Dorsey makes one of two. 36 to 16, classical by 20, Abreu. Oof. And Stacy Abreu takes it by herself. She had Dorsey on the opposite wing, and when she looked up and saw her, she took an extra step. If she had passed to her right away, Dorsey probably would have had an easy lay-in. Classical with 16 fouls, English with only three. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Horton as Glasgow with a weave. Here's Horton. 13 seconds to go. Nice pass inside. Creighton can't score. It comes oop. It comes Dorsey. Taking it to the hoop. No Delgado with the rebound. 137. This is Horton for three. Nope. And it's Ruiz and Creighton tied up. Jessica Ruiz. Wilkie and Madrano back in. Horton and Creighton out. So this looks like classical starting team in there now. I believe this is the team that started the game. Echevarria, good drive, and her little runner as Echevarria took it to the basket there, and her shot fell as May Lin with five points in the quarter. Wilkie for three, rattles out. Rebound, saved by Dorsey, but back to Classical, and let's see what we got. Got a foul on English here. That'll be the second on Echevarria. Fourth team fell. Classical. Next next foul on Classical puts English in the one and one. This is Wilkie. Little runner by Wilkie won't go. 45 seconds to go. Perry quickly down court. This is Dorsey for three. Too short. Wilkie gets bumped by Abreu. As Wilkie with position and Abreu ran her over. That's the third on Stacy. English pressing, and now they back off. Dorsey on Madrano. Wilkie back out to Gupton. Madrano, nice pass to a cutting Wilkie. Pretty play as Wilkie cut to the basket. Madrano hit her. Very nice play. Let's 
English maintain, uh, excuse me, Glasgow maintaining that 20 point lead. Echevarria too strong. Ruiz with good position to Abreu. Abreu spins and takes a couple of steps. Tough night for Stacy. She's gotten called three or four times for travel there. That time Ruiz with the rebound. Passed it over to Abreu. Shot clock off. One and Delgado just missing at the buzzer. So at the end of three complete here, it's uh, Classical on top by 20, 38 to 18. Eight minutes to go here as Massey will inbound four, Classical at midcourt. Clock running, Classical, ooh, as uh, Gupton changed her mind and took a little, a little step and gets called for it as the ball turns over to Lady Bulldogs. Just underway in the fourth quarter here at Lynn English at the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. Classical blew this game open in the second quarter. English came back in the third quarter and actually outscored Classical 11 to, set, 11 to 8. But that's a big hole to climb out. It was a 23-point deficit, and they trail by 20 right now. Dorsey driving the lane, throws up a wild runner, won't go. And Medrano, their floor leader. Medrano pressed by Dorsey, picks up the dribble. Nice pass inside to Delgado. Good look by Gupton inside to Delgado, who scores and fouled. Delgado with getting position inside frequently here, and that time she was able to convert. Let's see who they got that on. Looks like on Juliana Perry, only her first of the evening. But both teams now with six, at, so English with three straight fouls. And next one for either team will put the other team on the line. Delgado can't convert. This time the ball stay with Classical. Madrano. Inbounding from under their own basket to Wilkie all alone. Can't make it. Nobody on her. Echevarria with the rebound, but Wilkie couldn't convert. This is Echevarria. Takes it right to the basket. Gets fouled as Maylin beginning to show signs that she, some of the signs of that, those aggressive signs that she had in a couple of games last week as she's been taking the ball to the hoop. She had five of the English 11 points in the third quarter after going scoreless in the first half. She got on the line shooting two. First one good. And she is one of those players that uh, was not really counted on. This is her first year at the varsity level, only a sophomore. But she has really improved, shown real improvement over the last month. This is the second. That foul was on Delgado. Seventh on it. Once again, Delgado beats English, and they get her the ball as Irianis Delgado with a strong inside game. Perry, nice pass to Echevarria, and Echevarria beginning to get to the basket. This is what was missing in the, really for pretty much this entire game was any kind of inside game. And here Echevarria has been showing it. Classical, unfortunately, Classical extending that lead back out to 23. But Maylin Echevarria playing hard. First one's good. Hill is in. Rapley out. Raven Rapley with uh, really a pretty, uh, hasn't done much tonight. No points, no fouls. Echevarria makes a pair. Yep, Rapley's been silent. Ruiz's been pretty silent. Perry, with the exception of that three, about end of the third quarter. That's it for her. Those are players they count on. Delgado almost goes out of bounds. Nice save by 
Perry, but too classical. Let's see who that is. Number 40 just in. That's uh, Chandler. Hoists up a three and it goes. That's Chandler. They let that over they let that hack foul go. And this is Madrano. This is Delgado or Wilkie with position underneath. They don't get it to her though. Dorsey steals it away. As Paris Wilkie all alone under there. And she's got the height. Dorsey with the travel. It's the, that's a freshman mistake. And Echevarria back in for Dorsey. 5.45 to go. This game was decided long ago when Classical outscored English 19 to nothing in the second quarter. It was decided. Let's see, that's Gupton to Medrano, gives it to Delgado. Won't go. Giddy back in. Giddy one on two. Wild shot, but Abreu with the rebound. Back to Echevarria. No, Echevarria. Abreu finally gupped and pulls it down, and here she comes the other way. Takes it right to the basket. Oh, looked like a nice block by Hill, but I guess she got part of the hand as Gupton took it coast to coast. She'll be on the line shooting two. Both teams are now in the penalty, but she'll be shooting two. That was the fourth on Tommy Hill. And Gupton misses. Four classical. Massey back in. And Creighton. Massey had a strong first half. She had uh, all, all eight of her points in the first half and some big steals to break it open. She has had a, been scoreless in the second half. They haven't really needed her. Hill. This is Hechevaria. Perry had the shot, didn't take it. Hill driving the lane, too strong. And Chandler pulls down the rebound. 46-21 as the clock ticks down. Massey to Chandler. And Classical with the weave here. Just using clock. This time, that'll be it for Hill. She just fouls out as uh, Gupton will be on the line shooting one and one. And that's the fifth foul on Hill. And she'll need to be replaced. Let's see. So, Rapley and Dorsey at the scorer's desk. Gupton shooting one and one. Giddy and Hill take a seat on the bench. Delgado out, and she's replaced by Cabrot. Gupton shooting one and one. First one good. That's her first point of the night, at least. That's the first point that I have her for. I thought she had scored earlier. Maybe I missed it. Captain makes a pair. In the corner, Dorsey. Oh, almost to Rapley. Gets the offensive board, can't score. Abreu with the board. Puts it up, and she gets fouled. And Stacey Abreu will be on the line shooting, too. I believe that's on uh, Creighton. Stacey Abreu shooting two. Yep. Foul on Creighton, her first. Great. Abreu makes a pair. And they're pressing, but Massey breaks the press. Dorsey all over it, but Massey breaks it. 
Upton might have gotten away with a little travel there. No call. Classical in no hurry, but stolen away by Echevarria. Under four minutes to go. Massey with the steal. Chandler. Good D that time by Perry as blocks that. And Coach Shaw still coaching here with 3.38 to go. His team trailing by 25, but calls a timeout to avoid the, the tie-up. And we'll stay here and kind of wrap things up while they're... So this game, as I mentioned, uh, it was 11-7 after one, but Classica holds English scoreless and runs off 19 straight points to take a 30-7 lead at the half. English came back, outscored Classical by three, but it wasn't enough. And it was 38 to 18. And 20 point lead. Classical's extended that to 25 here with 3.38 to go for Classical. Um, lots of girls contributing here. Paris Wilkie leads the way with 12. Delgado, 11. And Massey with eight to lead the way for English. May Lynn Echevarri and all of these points in the in the second half. She's got eight to lead the way. She's followed by Abreu with six. And that's about it. Uh, Hill with three. So not a lot of points to be had here. Ellie Giddy with only two tonight. This is Dorsey. Good defense as they seal her off on the baseline. And Massey as Gupton comes back to set a pick. Pretty much all the classical players can handle the ball. Massey and uh, Madrano, especially. Wilkie. Wilk Oh, no, excuse me, that was not Wilkie. I thought that was 30, it was 12, that was Cabrot. Perry pulls up. Echevarria to Perry. Looking to get it inside and knocked away by Classical. And Massey out, probably... And let's see who that is. Number 13, that's her first, Creighton. Echevarria blocked by, so I have S. Creighton and A. Creighton. I don't have the first names. I don't know if they're related, but two Creightons on the floor right now. They, I believe, well, I'm looking at them. They look like they could be sisters, 10 and 13. And let's see, Gupton out now and probably... So, all subs in there now. Abreu, it won't go. Number 34 for Classical is, that's Abraham. Just looking to uh, use clock here. And Perry tries to break up that weave and gets called. She's going to be Classical be on the line. This is Creighton on the line, one and one. 2.14 to go. This one rattles out. Dorsey from the corner just misses. Good rebound by Rapley. Got the position and scored as so Raven Rapley is on the board now. She had been pitching a shutout. This is Perry playing hard. Continues. And that time she gets called for a reach in, and that'll put Creighton on the line shooting two. Where they're in the double bonus now, as Perry can't believe it. Creighton shooting two. One fifty to go. Perry 
This one a little short. Second one rattles out, misses both. Under two minutes. Perry, Echevarria. Looking for something. Echevarria back to Perry. She throws up a three. Too strong. Dorsey. Abraham Echevarria grabs it. Ooh. And up in the air and came down with the ball. And gets called for the travel. 128 to go. That's <laughs> English pressing. This is Creighton. Brings the ball up court. Looking for some help. Gets it from Abraham. This is Chandler. And look, Creighton inside looking for position. Nice spin move. Nice move as they dished it inside. And S. Creighton spins. That's her third point of the, of the game. Under a minute. Classical has doubled up English 50 to 25. Bounce pass inside to Abreu a little late, but Stacy gets it. Echevarria for three. Nope. Creighton back to the Lady Bulldogs. The difference is Dorsey throws it up. Abreu with the rebound and converts the, uh, the missed three. Big difference in the two benches as the Glasgow bench all excited, dancing on the sideline, clapping. That's that's the difference when you are winning by 23 and you run your record to 17 and one versus getting beat pretty handily on your own court and your record goes to five and 14. But like I say, a lot of Young talent on the Lady Bulldogs, and they're getting really these players getting playing time for next year. That shot misses. So Creighton, I believe that's four straight misses. Let's see if she can finally put one of these free throws in there. Nope, that one was short. 15 seconds to go. Echevarria won't go. Chandler with the rebound. Racing down court. And we got a charge there as I believe that was Dorsey taking that charge with 5.5 seconds to go. I'm not sure where Chandler was going as Perry. Clock. And we'll count it down. Four, three, two, one. And that'll do it. So, as the girls, as the girls shake hands, well, first they celebrate, get ready to shake hands. Final score here was Lynn Classical 50 and Lynn English 27. And we hope you enjoyed it. If you are a classical fan, you probably did. If you're an English fan, you probably didn't. But for my camera person, Javon Dunn, this is Ken Vorspin saying we'll see you next time.